Today we will learn the graphical representation of simplification of digital any expression and for those we have to learn first SOP uh, sum of product and POS POS product of sum those are we have to learn first okay then only we can understand we can able to understand other than I say that Carnot map simplification techniques okay see the SOM represent the sum of mean term okay and another we have to learn conical form then we have to learn sum of product so those are we have to try to follow up today's classes if you can able to complete this then lot of thing easily simplified okay see this what is the sum of product what is the mean of product and do you have any idea? Product means simply multiplication. Okay. See here is a function of x, y, z. Where x, y, z are you may say this is the element. Okay. Now see the form x, z. It is a product of two element. This it is a bar. Okay. This invited comma is used for bar because it is uh, bar cannot be done in typing. That is why we represent like that way. It is a bar. Okay. Whenever you find any in invited comma, you go for the bar. So it is a product term. It is a product term of y bar z. It is a product term of x bar y z. Now see the all product term is added. Okay. Or you may say sum of all product term. That is why it is called sum of product. Is it clear? Others, Renu, Bhandari. Okay. See the circuitry. We know if we want to get the product of any element, then we have to use AND gate. See the first AND gate here. That one. Okay, see we give a input x and z. Obviously, we get x x z here because and get is used for multiplying purpose. Now see here the second one. This is a y bar z. Then we can get the y bar z over here. Now see the last one. It is a three input and get. Okay. And we give x bar, y and z. So we can get x bar, y, z over here. And finally that those three input are fitted to a OR gate. And this is the level 2. Okay, the first one is level 1 where we did the all multiplication or and you may say the all product. Now finally we sum those all product term and finally get the f. Is it clear the circuit function? Okay. See, it is written over here. Any SOP expression can be implemented using two levels of gates. The first level consists of AND gates and second level consists of OR gates. Okay. Now, it is also called the second level circuit. Okay. Now see in next page, implemented of POS, same thing like that. The only difference is the first level is summation. Here all element first summation and then we get the product of the all summation. That is why it is called product of sum. Is it clear pause? Uh, oh, product of sum. Okay, universe. I just repeat. See here, it is a product of sum. 
that means the first level is sum we have to get the summation of all element individually then we have to product them see the first case if we go for the first case here we use the or gate for two input x and z then we can get x plus y uh, x plus z is it right syllabus okay now for that we get the y bar z y bar plus z now here we get x bar plus y plus z and finally we get the product term of all individual sum because we know or get can sum and and get can multiply so finally we get this, this type of form at output is it clear to all okay see here any pause expression can be implemented using two levels as like the sop but in pause the first level consists of or gates and second level consists of and gate okay it is also again it is called second level circuit because within a second two level this operation can be completed see here now implemented of sop here consider i give a example here a is equal to ab plus c into d plus c e. now how can be possible this expression like if you generally do this we can do by like that if you if you solve this it should be like that the first one here a and b is Uh, fitted to a and gate that is why we get a b now here d and e fitted to a or gate here we get d plus e now this d plus e and c is fitted to a another and gate which convert it the output c first bracket d plus e and finally this two input this one and this one fitted to a or gate to get finally ab plus c into d plus e but see this operation using a three level one is the this level another this level and finally this level so it is a three level operation but if you did this in a manner like a sum of product then it could be two level circuit like that now we have to find how we can we convert it in a sum of product term okay how it be possible if we multiply this if you simplify this then what will what will i get ab sorry plus cd plus d is it right is it clear just only multiplication c into d and c into sorry not d it is c sorry 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 it is c it will be c okay wait c now see the form if we use a and b through a and gate c and d through a and gate and c and e through a and gate and finally we add them then the same circuit which we did in three level circuit can be converted in second level circuit is it easier to us am i right okay it is a 
representation and you may say the implementation of a sum of product okay now slowly slowly it will be understand by us because when we did some practice it will be easier now what is a conical form it is useful to specify a boolean function in a form that allows comparison for equality has correspondence to a truth table conical form in co common use of sum of product and product of max term we see let later one okay see here see always the mean term wait yes, uh, mean term is represented by small m and max term is represented by a capital m okay if we uh, we find a equation like that suppose e is equal to summation of the sign is called summation of small m 0 1 2 4 5 what does it mean when we find this type of expression that mean it is a summation of m 0 plus m 1 plus m 2 plus m 4 plus m 5 is it clear why m0 m1 m2 m4 m5 because in bracket written the small m is function of 0 1 2 4 5 okay okay now we arrange those like that m5 m1 m4 m0 m2 m0 first we we get the odd number out like m5 and m1 is the odd number now m4 with m0 and again m2 this m0 is extra sorry like that way now see why this x y bar z is equal to m5 what does it mean why m5 is equal to x y bar z and how this line is come we have to know that okay now see suppose we make a truth table over here first then it will be clear this is a x this is a y and this is a z okay now if all are 0 0 and 0 then what will be the output we may write q is equal to x bar y bar z bar because 0 means bar okay invert and if we now if you write 0 0 1 then it should be like that x bar y bar z now if we write x uh, sorry sorry sir sir 0 1 0 then it should be like x y z bar if it is 0 1 1 it should be x bar sorry it is also bar y z now if you write 1 0 0 then it should be x 
y bar z bar now if you write 1 0 1 then it should be x y bar z if it is 1 1 0 then it should be x y z bar now if it is 1 1 1 then it should be x y z is it clear to all how this term is getting the output is getting q Is it clear to all? Okay. Now see in Mintram, we can write that M0, M1, M2, M3, all are small m, okay. M4, M5, M6 and M7. Okay, so this M5 should be x, y bar z. See M5 over here, so it should be x, y bar z. Then M1, M1 should be x bar y bar z. See here. Here M1 should be x bar y bar z, M4, M4 should be x y bar z, see here, M4, x y bar z, M0 should be x bar y bar z, why? M0 is equal to all bars and again M2 should be x y z bar, see here x y z bar and again they will write M0, that is x bar y bar z bar. Okay, is it understand from how we get this term x, y, z, the product of x, y, z equivalent to m1, m2, m5, whatever it is, from where we get, is it clear? Is it clear to all? Okay, now forget about this, go for next page. How we simplify, uh, simplify it, a Boolean function? An implementation of Boolean function required the use of logic gate. A smaller number of gate with each gate other than inverter having less number of input may reduce the cost of the implementation. Actually what is the target of us? Simplification means what? Simplification means? The use of minimum gates, okay, because every gate have a has a individual price, okay. So our duty is the reduce the cost of our circuit. So we have to calculate our expression in that way where we can use the minimum amount of logic gate. Then we, we can say that this logic uh, expression is simplified. Is it clear? There are two methods of simplification of Boolean function. What are those? Simplification of Boolean function two method. One is the algebraic method by using identity, identities and theorem, which we did by simplified of Boolean expression using the laws and formulas of Boolean postulate. Okay, we already did. Now another method, it is called graphical method by using Carnot map method. And this Carnot map is called the K map. Okay. It is called the K map. Okay. A Carnot map for the function of n variable consists of 2 to the power n number of cell. In every row and column, two adjacent cells should be differ in the value of only one 
of the logic variable. See what what is the Carnot map first. A graphical method of simplifying logic equation or truth table, also called a Carnot map, theoretically can be used for any number of input variables, but practically limited for five or six variables. What is a variables? Variables means a, b, c, d, e, f, or x, y, z, w, whatever it is. Okay. It should be better fit to three, four to six variable. Okay, not beyond that. Logically, we can do, uh, we can do n number of variable for using Carnot map technique. But if beyond four variable, then slowly, slowly it will be difficult to calculate by a graphical method. So whenever we find the variable is maximum six, then we can implement the Carnot map technique. Is it clear? Uh, see, uh, suppose uh, a expression like that, x, y, z bar, a, b, c, d, plus x bar, y, z, a, b, c, d, plus x, y z a bar b bar c d see it is a expression of a boolean logics ok now see for every term there is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 variable C over here. Those all are the seven variables. So in those case, we should not use the Carnot map technique. Carnot map technique should be used below the six, six variable. Okay, not beyond the six variable. Is it clear? What I mean to say? If it is x, y, z plus a, B, C, uh, not A, B, C, sorry, X bar, Y, Z, then we go for that, because uh, here is a three variable, X, Y, Z, so it is, practically we can do it for any number of variable, uh, sorry, theoretically, but practically it should, it, it should be limited on five or six variables, okay. Okay, now see the actual thing. Okay. One second, we we'll go for this first. Okay, see the Carnot map uh, method. The two table value are placed in the Carnot map. Adjacent Carnot map square differ in only one variable. Uh, we go, we go for first practice that. Then we can go for wait for one second. See, it is a two variable Carnot map. See, what are the variable A and B? Okay, so if two variable, then how many cell is produced? It is a law of 2 to the power 
n. Okay, two variable means two to the power two is equal to four. That means we need minimum four cell to represent two variable Carnot See, we draw these four level, uh, four cell for represent two variable. For B, there is a two value is possible in digital logic. That is one is zero and one is one. And for A, same zero and one. So this cell is for zero zero because that cell B zero A zero, that cell B zero A one, that cell B one A zero, and that cell B one A one. Is it clear? Okay. Now go. Okay. Suppose in two variable Carnot map, we make a cell. Now, if in this position there is a one. In this position, there is a zero. These number are given. Okay, in which position one and which position zero? This position is one. This position is zero. Now we have to make a loop. Loop for adjacent one. See, here two one is adjacent. Then we can make a loop like that. Okay, we can make a loop. Okay. Now for that purpose. What is the relation of A and B? See, the technique is finding A and B is A is equal to C. Here, B is changing one to zero because this loop is go for B one and B zero. Am I right? This low loop is go for B one to zero. Am I right? See, uh, we make a loop over here, this position, but we find that this loop is covered B zero position. Also, B one position, right, Sinemas? Ha, huh, Sinemas still. No, when you said uh, it covers both uh, zero and one for B, you are referring to one. No, no, no. Uh, one for A. Uh, what I did when we cover for a single variable zero to one position, that means this variable is cancelled out. Okay, the only variable is here is a because a is not covered zero to one. A is covered only a zero position. Then our result will be a bar. B is cancelled out because B goes zero to one. Both variable and present for B. That is why B cancel out. It is the law of finding simplification through Carnot map technique. So your result is A is equal to A bar. Is it clear to all? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't understand. See, see here zero means it is the room of A bar. And it is the room of A. Okay. Now yes. see, it is the room of yes. B bar, and it is the room of B. If in any loop where both the B bar and B is present, मतलब zero and one is present, then this variable is cancel out hmm. from your result. Okay. But here see. Yes. This loop is only go for a bar position, not 
touch the a, a position that is why it is remain so for this loop your answer will be only a bar is it clear now okay it is the law of yes. carnot map rahul is it clear okay now if we go for the simple calculation then what we will find it is the position of what a0 b0 that means a bar b bar am i right it is the position of a bar b bar it is the position of a b bar but in that in that case here is a zero that means this term is missing another one present here it is the place of a bar b am i right so it is a bar b is present in this in that equation am i right all of you because the fourth fourth room is again zero that means it is missing where we find one that means this term is present in your equation okay so the first term is one and this room is for a bar b bar we write here a bar b bar now this room is uh, one and this room for a bar b we write a bar b now if we go for the simplification we get a common of a bar and we find b bar plus b in bracket now tell me by the boolean algebra what is the value of b b bar plus b 1 so now it is a bar into 1 that means only a bar see by the boolean algebra if we go for that we we have to do the we have to do this three step but if we represent by the carnot map technique we can do it one step is it clear we not go for uh, sir hmm. so so is it fair to say that in the carnot map hmm. only we take for uh, one and ignore the zeros yeah 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 zero the is product, zero so is means is missing one. zero zero means there is a nothing missing i am missing okay 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 when we practicing lot of example then it will be clear to you it is just simple for two variable we have to do for four and five variable also okay slowly slowly it will be clear to you but it is the basic technique okay now see the next table here we find the a for the parallelly okay horizontally now see in that case what happen zero a changing zero to one a cover up zero to one a bar to a so a is cancel out over here because for this loop a getting zero to one but b getting one b getting only one that means it is the place of b so your answer will be what b only am i right okay now tell me uh, in this room what will be the value it will be a is equal to a bar b actually it is a room of a bar b and this one for ab because a1 b1 ab now take a common of b we find a bar a okay now again a bar a is equal to 1 so the result will be b is it clear now now see now see this this one 
uh, here given a two table but find out the f where one is given for those two term and zero is given those two term that means a and b zero zero position there is a one see a and b zero zero position there is a one and zero and one position there is again a one see a zero b one there is again a one and rest of all case there is a zero in that way by two table you can create a Carnot map using a two table you can create a Carnot map is it clear if this a b is given like that way you can do it yes or not no this one is given in a problem this one is given see f f is your output okay now i give f is equal to same thing like that way it is a function of suppose we give summation of m0 and m1 what does it mean that means at m0 position there will be a 1 and m1 position there will be a 1 now see 0 0 that is m0 0 1 that is m1 that is m2 that is m3 here a p is equal to 1 1 given like that but it can be like that way also it can be given like that way also from that you have to make this Carnot map here a 0 0 that is the place of 0 0 that is the place of what 1 0 that is the place of 0 1 that is the place of 1 1 why it is 1 0 because a is equal to 1 b is equal to 0 so it is given a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 in place f is equal to 1 so we put a 1 over here now a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 there is a 1 so here a is equal to 1 and b, uh, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 we put a 1 over here is it clear to now universe this problem is given to you and they need a solution from you Only in the table is the problem. Ha, yeah, this uh, this is the problem is given that where f is equal to okay. the first position one and second position one and rest of zero zero, then calculate the simplification. Mm -hmm. It is a problem. I just show you how to okay. make this Carnot map by given a two table. Okay, this two table will be given to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. It's shown the calculation. Now see over here. This truth table is given like that. Okay. Now 0 1 position there is a 1 it is a 0 1 position there is a 1 now 1 0 position there is a 1 it is the 1 0 position ok now 1 1 position there is a 1 it is a 1 now tell me how we make a grouping we cannot make group like 3 this way no we can make a group 2 and group 4 but in here 0 is given not 1 so we cannot make a group of 4 <coughs> so we have to make a group of <coughs> 2 like that way we make a group of that and we make a group of that 
Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay. Now calculate by our Carnot map technique. Here the calculation is shown by a Boolean algebra method. Okay. Now we calculate and see the result is coming A plus B or not. Okay. See, it is a loop one L one. It is a loop two L two. Okay. For that, a is equal to a is your output. It should be l1 plus l2. Okay. Now for l1, see the b is change 0 and 1, so b is cancel out. Only a is present and a is 1. <coughs> so l1 will be a. Now calculate the l2. See a is changing 0 to 1 that means a is cancel out now b is only remain on 1 that means l2 is b so it is a plus b see is it clear ok very good See over here, and this this is done like that. Okay. Now see, <coughs> if fourth term is all are one, so all position we put a one. Now we make a loop of four variable. Okay. If we find a four variable, then we cannot make group like that way. Cannot. Because the four uh, variable group has a higher priority. If we find any higher four variable and if we make this group then go for first four variable loop. Then we go for the second variable loop. Two variable loop. Sorry. Is it clear? If we find anywhere we can make a four variable to in a group then we go for that first. Okay. So if four variable then what will be the result? See here B is cancel out, A is cancel out. So the answer will be one. See A is changing position zero to one, B is changing position zero to one. So both are cancel out. In that case, your answer will be 1. Is it clear? As we know for any complex digital circuit, the algebraic expression will be also very complex. And from this expression, impl implementation of hardware is also very difficult and cost effective. So if you can minimize the expression, then it will be reduce the complexity and also reduce the number of gate used to make the hardware. Now question is how we will do that. As we know, we can minimize the expression by implementing Boolean algebra and also minimize by another method which is called the map method and the map method is very simple and straightforward produced for minimizing Boolean function and this map method is also known as Carnot map or K map. We can draw Carnot map depending upon the two variable Carnot map, three variable Carnot map and four variable Carnot map. Now two variable Carnot map we already seen. Okay, now see the what is a three variable and four variable. Okay, this is a two variable. Three variable means two to the power three. Okay, now how many cell we needed? Eight. See here. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट सेल ओके नाउ थ्री वेरिएबल मीन्स दे आर इज अ वेरिएबल लाइक ए बी एंड सी थ्री वेरिएबल सी फॉर दैट केस वी राइट ए इन हेयर and a has two combination a bar and a that means 0 and 1 and c the combination of bc at above how bc bc bar b bar c bar and b bar c see every time there is a law what is the law when we go more than two variable see how to how we make the table okay suppose this is a a and this is a b and c at above okay now this is for zero this is for one okay now for this is for zero zero then zero one now see we should write one zero here because zero 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 one we should write one zero over here am i right no in that case no in that case this 10 is written here and the last place 11 over here this is the variation we have to do 00011011 so the cell number like that is 0 1 this is 2 this is 3 then 4 5 this is 6 and that is 7 you should remember that is it clear and if you go for four variable then what happen see oh, sorry in that case a b a her four variables that means a b c d and c d here and now that case 0 0 same thing in this side also 0 1 this is 1 0 and this is 1 1 same thing over here 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 Okay, now give the number. This is zero position. This is one position. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is six. This is seven. Now see, it is not a eight. It is eight. It is nine. It is ten. It is eleven. It is twelve. It is thirteen. It is fourteen, and it is fifteen. You should remember this because same thing happened. This one one is changing over here also. So from seven, the eight will be go here. From that, okay. Not that line. After completing eleven, then then it go twelve over here. No, this is not chosen. This is the law of Boolean algebra. Okay, in that way, then your loop. If you create the loop of a variable, then uh, which law we show, it can uh, we can write like that way. it is a general formula to making a table clear and uh, here is a another thing 
you should remember why this is why this is there is a law that for a adjacent cell see those are the adjacent cell this one and this one is a adjacent cell so this adjacent cell only one variable can change 0 to 1 see here it is a 0 0 it is 0 1 so only this variable d can change 0 to 1 am i right now see 0 1 and 1 1 here also only one variable change 0 to 1 am i right Okay, now here between two, these two, one 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 zero. Again here one variable change zero to one. Cinemas, is it right? Because only this variable here is this variable one, this variable zero. Only one variable change one to zero. Okay, now see if we write a sequence like that zero 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 one then one zero. Then one one. It is a correct sequence, na? Now compare between these two. Here you can find the two variable change zero to one. See for this variable, it is also change zero to one. It is also change zero to one. Am I right? So it should not be possible in Carnot map. Carnot map should possible only one variable change 0 to 1 for adjacent cell. Is it clear? That is why we write 1 1 before 1 0. Clear now Sinibas why we write? Okay. It is a general law. Now we Okay, uh, I just did. Uh, tell me, this is how many variable is present there? Uh, X is equal to this is a, this is your problem. Now tell me how many variable present over here. Three. Okay. Then I have to make a Carnot uh, map for three variables. Okay. I can go for that. Here we write A, here B and C. So it is a 0, it is a 1, it is a 0, 0, it is a 0, 1, it is a 1, 0 and it is a 1, 1. Okay. Now see, here given A bar B C. That means which position? This position? Well, because this position is A bar, uh, sorry, this position A bar B C. Am I right? So here we put 1 because A bar, A0 over here and B1, C1 that means BC. Am I right everyone? Yeah, okay. Now A, B bar, C. A means there. B bar, C means 0, 1. This position, there should be a 1. Now A, B, C bar. That means A1, B should be 1 and C bar, that means this position. And this is A, B, C, that means A1, this line, this row and B1, this column. So this is this position. Is it clear?
Now see, here 3, 1 is in a row. We cannot make a loop for 3 element. We can make a loop for 2 element and 4 element. I already told. So we have to make a loop like that one. This one. Then this one. And then that one. Am I right? All of you? So we can write f is equal to Suppose it, it is L1, it is L2 and it is L3. Okay. Now we can write L1 plus L2 plus L3. Okay. It is a L1. So for that case, which change? A not change. Then it should be A over here and in above case B position is changed 0 to 1 so B is cancelled out but C is remain C both of case 1 so it is AC am I right any confusion why it is AC for this loop ok C in that loop a is not changed 0 to 1. So A will be present. A will be present which, which value? For value of 1. So A will be present with write A. Now, for those variable, C, the position of B, it is a position of B, 0, 1 means what? B is equal to 0, C is equal to 1, na? So C, the position of 0 change 0 to 1. Here 1, here 0 because this loop is containing these two row, two column. Okay. So B position change 0 to 1. That means B is cancelled out. Only remain C because C is not changed. Both of row, both of column C is 1. 1 means C. So this is AC. A is 1 and C is 1 for this loop. Okay, now for loop 2. Suppose it is a loop 2. This one is loop 2. Okay, now loop 2, for the loop 2, same thing, A is remain. A is remain. Sorry. But C, C position is change 1 to 0. But B is remain. B is, the position value is 1. That is AB. Clear? Clear to everyone? Renu? Siddharth? Okay. Now the last one, this loop. See, here A is changed 0 to 1 position. That means A is cancel out. And B is BC is 1, 1. So that is B is equal to uh, uh, B and C. Clear? Because BC is 1, 1. B and C. Clear? C. It come. How easily we can uh, simplify that by the graphical method? If you go for that, you have to take a common like that. You have to take those, those are lines.